Yo, what's up everyone? And now I have a mod here that I really, really like. It's called Geothermal Coolers, but I just want to preface this and say, first of all, yeah, it's pretty broken. But second of all, I have no idea if these are real or not, or if, if this is how it works or anything like that. So how the mod works is it adds in a low tech way to cool a room. So if you take a look at the temperature at the bottom right there, it's hovering at around three degrees Celsius. Yeah, it gets around to zero degrees Celsius, somewhere in the 30s Fahrenheit. And it's pretty damn cold. And if you take a look at outside, 32 degrees outside. But this is what the mod does. It adds in this thing called the geothermal cooler and it's powered by steel, which is relatively hilarious. And I'll get into why it's powered by steel in a moment or two. Um, but that's what the mod is for. If you go into the research tab, there's the geothermal cooling over here. You can get it from the gecko. I'm currently on tribal uh, technology and my guy is wearing a nice little budgie smuggler, but it also covers the top. Um, you can build them over here. So if you go into the temperature tab, the geothermal cooler for 100 wood and 350 steel, and then it does deteriorate steel. So you can see fuel and lasts about four days. I'll say somewhere around there, three days. So if we go into the info tab, a geothermal cooler is a building that extracts cold air from underground. Hot air is pushed into the ground through one of the pipes, making cold air rise from the other. Since the pipes aren't too strong, steel is occasionally required to fix the cooler. So it's kind of like the Dove's breakdown mod. Or is it Fluffy? Fluffy breakdown mod? Yeah, Fluffy breakdown mod. Now, speaking about how it actually works, I know that you can push hot air through here and generally that side will get cooler. Um, does it work to this extent though? I don't actually know. So I thought, for example, maybe you'd be using a steam geyser or geyser if you're in America, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But anyways, I set up a little test room here. And of course, you know, I love my bright colors. So I had to put the floors down, um, just to sort of show you the temperature variation. So this is just a regular sized room. It's quite hot outside today, 32 degrees Celsius or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And if we take a look, it goes down to almost zero. So this is almost cool enough to actually keep something frozen. And in the next room, we're going up in twos here. So if you take a look, the different dimensions, six by six, it's currently sitting at 14 degrees Celsius inside, 32 degrees Celsius outside. Now it is rather interesting because if I put down a, another room, right next to it with an actual cooler in it. One of the uh, electricity powered ones. You'll see that it's a pretty damn stark difference. Let's just go ahead and go down to negative five. Of course the door has to break, great job. But you can see it reaches negative five pretty easily for a room this size. I'll show you why we go down to negative five in a moment with these rooms over here. So then the next one, it's 30 degrees Celsius outside and it's down to 19 degrees Celsius inside. So that's 85 Fahrenheit outside, nine, uh, 66 inside. Oh, Fahrenheit makes no sense. That makes no sense. Okay, anyways, over here, slightly bigger room since we're going in that way. So outside 30 degrees, inside 22, 85 Fahrenheit, 72 Fahrenheit. And that's this room over here. See, the colors kind of show you how big the room is because I know I shake the camera around a bit too much. I'm really bad at that. I am trying to fix it. And then over here, a very negligible difference. 30 degrees outside, 24 degrees inside, it's 85, 76 inside. And then finally, the last room, which is 16 by 16, 85 outside, 79 inside, and it's 30 degrees Celsius outside, 26 degrees Celsius inside. Now, not the saving grace that you'd expect it to be, but still pretty damn cool for something that doesn't require any electricity. Now I did go ahead and make this negative five in here because these actually cap out at negative five. So if I go ahead and show this room over here, this one, and then I copied it and put it down over here and just did the exact same thing. It hovers at negative five. When I say hover, it doesn't change at all. It doesn't go up or down because there's just so many of them. And then finally, just a massive room over here. Although I don't know why you'd ever do this. I don't even think you need this many to even get close to it. Let's do that. And it still hits negative five. Actually, I kind of want to see since we're here. Yeah, this is still negative five. So it's pretty, pretty damn good. I mean, in this case, yeah, this is a whole room that you can get down to negative five for. 
Uh, let's take a look and do this with regular powered coolers. All right, just waited till day. Okay, so we're gonna fill this up. Let's see, so I just sort of froze it just to get it, just to get a baseline for the temperature, so it goes up slowly. And let's do power. Let's just start with three. See if we can. Uh... No, it's negative ten. Yeah, so three of these can get there. Maybe you need one more. No, no, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so three of the coolers worth about that many in um, geothermal coolers. So in terms of balance, is it broken? Well, I mean, you can freeze a room without really needing any power. But it does chug steel. 60 steel every three day per cooler. It means that you're not going to be spamming these. So in terms of balance, I don't think it's that bad, actually. I think it's awesome. And you know, my favorite thing in all of these mods is always the artwork. So let's take a look at the beautiful artwork. It is just perfect and simplistic and absolutely amazing. Whoever did this, rounding points to you, my dude. Or do that. You're awesome. It just looks so good. You can't rotate them. I would love to be able to rotate them. Um, it's probably just because they weren't designed to be rotated. There's probably no back texture to it. But if you could turn them around, that would be absolutely great. But for now, nothing else that I can complain about. Another thing is, as you saw, I just broke it. Excuse you. I just broke it, and you don't get any materials on return from it. So, I don't know. Make up your mind if you think it's balanced. This is a single-player game. Um, so, I really don't think balance is that much of an issue for most people. At the end of the day, it's just cooling a room. You can do that with passive coolers anyways. Passive coolers are just a nightmare. I found myself really just not using them anymore. Um, we can't get into the negatives, though. So, you can't freeze your meals. And that's the important thing in this game. It's the difference between life and death in some colonies anyways i'm gonna leave the video in there thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it and i think i will see you all tomorrow i think i have a video coming out tomorrow maybe don't quote me anyways have a fantastic day bye bye everyone hey thank you very much for making it to the end of the video it's really really awesome of you i've got a discord server that's free for all to join if you'd like to come and have a chat with me or anyone else and i've also opened up a patreon page to help fund my videos so if any of those interest you please go ahead and take a look at the description have a great day and thank you very much for watching